Aries. Who is this person? Let's see. Who is this? Who is this person that's in your energy? Aries. Who is this person? Ace of Cups. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy here. Hmm. Somebody that loves you. That's for damn sure. <laughs> and I think this person, I don't know why, but I'm feeling like, okay, and then we have the Seven of Wands. I'm feeling like um, whoever this person is, they love you, but there's, there's a level of intimidation um, that they feel towards you. We have Leo energy here now. I feel like this person is also, you know, in denial about their feelings for you. It's, it's kind of weird. They have a lot of um, ego, whoever this person is. And um, I think that it's almost like they're fighting the feeling, this person. Okay. Yeah. I feel like this is you guys here, this Queen of Wands energy. They don't even realize just how much they feel for you. Callie, stop it. Stop it. Get out. Go. <clears throat> they don't even realize how much they feel for you. Um, I think that they... This person may have blocked you guys, but I don't even know if you know that they blocked you because I don't see you reaching out to them either. That's the thing. There's something that has happened between you guys, obviously, and it's like this person wants to move forward with you, but they're telling themselves that they don't, but yet still they still kind of watch you from a distance, which is kind of weird. But um, I, you might not even know they're there, honestly. Or you might know they're there and just really don't give a shit. One of the two. And then the sun. You guys are just doing your own thing, your day-to-day. -day. Um, I feel like you're very confident in who you are. But you have Leo energy all around you. So this could definitely be a Cancer Leo individual. I feel like that is like so strongly in your energy. Um, this person is like, and you probably feel it because it's very strong. But you guys are just doing your own thing. Very confident in what you do and who you are. Five of Wands, again, like I said, this person is fighting their feelings for you. Strong Leo in your reading, okay? They're fighting their feelings for you. Very conflicted. Um, they may be trying to see other people, try to like not think about you, date other people. But, um, and they may feel like they have to, you know, contend for your emotions as well. But I'm getting that this person, you know, has called themselves like, Blocking you out, blocking your energy out, but they can't resist it though. Ten of Cups, Piscean energy. They see happiness with you regardless. It's like this person cannot help these feelings for you. As much as they try to fight it, these feelings are still present for you guys here. It's like they've been whipped. I don't know what you guys did. I don't know if the fact that you're kind of like doing your own thing and that you're not focused on them is drawing them in, in even more. But they are definitely drawn in. Okay. That one wanted to flip over. Nine of Cups here falling under you. Yeah, you're doing your own shit. You're doing what makes you happy. That is what you're doing. And this person, I think that that is like, that's some sexy shit for them. They're not going to be able to hold back much longer. This person may have already reached out to you. 
And then we have a Four of Swords. I think that you guys have been hurt before. Um, but now I think... I don't think you're doing anything like really serious in the way of like loving relationships. I think that you're still like in this healing process. Um, you're focused more on yourselves and you're really not trying to rock the boat. You don't want to have any conflict with, any, with anybody. You're really just focusing on your own happiness, I feel. And that is so freaking alluring to them. This is Libra energy here with this Four of Swords. I feel like um, this, this person really wants to win you over. And they're in the shadows. They're in the shadows. I think that even if you've had interaction with this person, you don't really know the extent of how this person feels towards you. So let's see what they really want with you. I, I'm, I'm getting this like, I don't know. I'm feeling jealousy for some reason. Maybe they're jealous of how unbothered you guys are. What do they really want with Aries? What does this person really want with Aries? Ten of Swords. That's not good. Not good at all. I feel like this person is jealous. This person is jealous. They really want to stop thinking about you. They really want to stop. It's like they can't stop though. They really want to like move past whatever they're feeling for you, but they're struggling with that. They want to get over you. This person really wants to get over you. They're having a hard time though. Poor things. Gemini energy there. The Empress. Look at you. You are unbothered. You are unbothered, and I, I think that um, they have a hard time with you being unbothered. They want you to, you know, come across like you're affected about by, you know, them or not being with them or whatever. The fact that you're showing like that you could give a shit or that they are a non-factor is like really upsetting them. Um, I feel like this person you know they want to they if they had the chance if they could turn things around I feel they would definitely want to start over with you um but I'm getting the sense that this person feels like this is out of the question so being that it's out of the question they'd rather like get you out of their head since it seems like it's so far-fetched for you guys to be together again Libra um, Aries Taurus energy here. Judgment. Yeah. You guys are... Whatever happened between you and this person, I feel like you decided that, you know, you're done with this. That there has to be some... Um, a change in your situation or rebirth in your situation with the judgment and the sun. That's like the phoenix rising. Okay, so there has definitely been a betrayal between you and this person. I feel like it really kind of shook you and it brought you to your knees. So now you're coming here as a queen of wands uh, slash the empress slash the nine of cups and doing your own shit, making yourselves happy. Okay, you, you had a rebirth. You had a rebirth and you've like blocked this shit out. You could have done it figuratively or you could have done it metaphorically, whatever. But you're not phased by them is the thing here. And they feel that and they know that. And But they can't get you off of their mind. I feel like you know exactly who this person is. Um, but yeah, they feel like there's no turning back. So they're having a hard time getting over you guys is the bottom line here. And if they could change things, they would. So what they want with you is to get over you since the fact since they feel like they can't have you back. 
but if they could they would I feel like they probably were the ones that ended this before if they could turn back the hands of time they would put a card in front of the ten of swords here if they could turn it back they would look at that if they could turn it back they would they want to start over they want another chance this person would love another chance with you with this world's energy they want to start over you see this this is the number 20 over here and this is number 21 if they could go back and do things over again they would I feel like this is somebody who you've gone around and around and around with. Maybe you guys used to break up, get back together, break up, get back together. And, you know, that happened a lot. But I feel like this person wants a new start with you. But they are in denial. They're in denial because they feel like it can't happen. That you're done with them. Okay. So with the world energy, we have, um, again, Taurus, Aquarius, Leo, Scorpio energy, which they're all here anyway. Leo is very present here. Um, Taurus, Scorpio, all of them actually um, are here. Okay, guys? So that's what I have for you. And I'll be speaking with you soon. Bye.